Hi, Jack Bergstrom, coach, speaker, author of the upcoming book, Mastering the Art of Business by Referral. I've also got a second book coming out this year. This is 2018 as I'm recording this uh, video, which will be about uh, goal achievement. That will be much later in the year. But this process I'm embarking on, so let's see, this is going to be starting on Monday, April 2nd. I'm going to be starting a ketogenic diet and I'm going to be doing the necessary physical activities to get myself from where I am today, which is not feeling very good much of the time, and obese to uh, back to vibrant health. My ideal body weight is 195 pounds. I am at, uh, when I'm feeling healthy and I'm not slouched over, and I am early in the day because my discs tend to compress and my back stay goes on. I'm about a little, almost, almost six foot two inches tall. Um, by the end of the day, these days, I'm down to just barely over six foot tall. Uh, still, my ideal body weight is 195. I kind of chose that number because it's the number that I weighed when I played on the tennis team in college and I felt and looked fantastic. Um, I was for much of my life a very, very physically fit and active smoker. Love smoking, loved everything about it. I loved the mystique, the history, how cool it made me look, the confidence, the relaxation, the taste. I loved everything about it except that it was killing me. Um, finally, um, someday I'll tell the whole story of how I quit smoking. It was quite the ordeal. But once I quit smoking, um, smoking had been a big part of my life and I'd used it for a lot of things I didn't realize. I got very heavy very quickly after that, and I have struggled with my weight ever since. So if 195 is my ideal weight, the closest I've ever been back to that uh, was 225 pounds, and that was many years ago. The closest I've been, second closest I've been, is 242 pounds. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I weigh right now, but I'll take that measurement on Monday morning as well as physical measurements, so my waist, thighs, arms, etc. as a starting point. I'm going to write a book about this process. I feel compelled to do that just given how hard I have worked at it for so long and all the knowledge I've accumulated that what doesn't work or what might work partially. I was looking down at just some of the diets that I've been through over the years and I'm just going to list them right now, but I'll talk about them. Each of them had something useful or I learned something from. So I've been on the Atkins diet did that one for a long time. I've tried being a vegetarian. Uh, I worked with the carbohydrate addicts diet. I've done water fasting. Uh, a great thing actually, but for different purposes. I've done bulletproof fasting. I've done uh, low carb calorie counting. I've done low fat carb calorie counting. Um, I've done raw juicing. Uh, what I've never done is a ketogenic diet. Um, the closest I've done to that would be Atkins, which worked great for me on long-term basis. Since I didn't know quite what I was doing with the Atkins, didn't know proper supplementation, and took my carbs down for too long, too low, um, that had some issues for me. That's why I think keto is going to work well. Anyway, the book is tentatively titled The Way Back, a baby, bo a baby Boomer's Journey from Obesity to Vibrant Health. Now. Am I back to vibrant health yet? No. In fact, I'm just beginning my journey. But I think having that as a guiding path, heading back towards vibrant health, that sounds exciting to me. Jack Bergstrom, coach, speaker, author of the upcoming book, Mastering the Art of Business by Referral, and author of the book tentatively titled, The Way Back. Wishing you a great rest of your day.